Photoshop is 35 years old today. So we thought we'd open up Photoshop 1 and see how it compares to the new Photoshop. Chelsea, you got the original Photoshop, so let's just open a picture and we'll just do some, some quick little edits. Little simple things that you can do. It could not be opened because it's too old. <laughs> you can't open JPEGs. You, you, yeah. I made a TIFF for you so you can open the TIFF. So this is me in 1990 when Photoshop was released. There are some things I recognize here. I think this is the clone stamp. And not use the rubber stamp. Oh, hey. Okay, that's actually working pretty good. That's not so bad. I'm just gonna use the lasso tool, circle the book, and then hit generative fill. Wow. Hey, this is actually better than I thought it would be. Oh. <laughs> I remember doing all this, having to like constantly like find a different point to sample from. Yeah, but you know what? I'm really glad that you, your childhood carpet was not an intricate design. This must be fun to watch. I'm amazed I could do it. I didn't know I'd be able to do that, actually. How about we change the light blue in my shirt to red? I'll just grab the quick selection tool, select that, and then I will add a layer for hue saturation and drag the hue slider over until it's red. I, I have the little selecty one, so I was able to select the blue, and actually it did a pretty good job. Oh, you can feather it. Okay, okay. Photoshop. Oh, it just. Oh, oh, this is primitive, but. You have to click preview if you want to see it. There you go. Oh. So it doesn't update in real time. That's crazy. What color are we trying to make it? Red? Red. Okay. Technically, I did it. Yeah, that's not bad. You don't have layers, but you still got it done. What yeah. do you say we, we crop it to an 8 by 10? All right, I see my little crop tool. I can't believe it's just all stayed the same. Hmm. Help me out here, Photoshop. Guess this is eight by 10. And then what you'd have to do is take the number of pixels and calculate what the vertical would be in Maths? eight by 10. <laughs> you would have to math it. I am actually surprised by how capable and primitive it is at the same time. Let's do this. Let's put a little, it's a Christmas photo. Let's put a little Christmas hat on me. Oh, you know, I feel like you're cheating. Okay, mine actually looks pretty good. <laughs> As does yours. I'm not done yet. Good things take time, you know? Well, let me see. Oh, you're doing shading. <laughs> Sophisticated. You gotta do shading. Okay. I... Oh. That looks like crap. Mine looks... <laughs> I drew this. I don't know if you can tell, but... I you know what's I crazy? Really I did not look at your AI one and it put the dangly thing on the same side. Uh-huh. Like, it's actually very similar. Uh, let's open up a picture of you in 1990. Let's blur the background a little bit. Give it a little 3D look. I will do select subject. Wow. Control shift I to invert my selection and then filter, blur, lens blur. <laughs> I'm trying to um, use this little tool to automatically select things. Yeah. Um, but it's not really that accurate, so I'm gonna try my lasso tool. Let me deselect and just try this. <laughs> <laughs> pretty good, pretty good. Wait. I remember selections were such a royal pain. I can't believe now we just do select subject and we don't even think about it. There used to be a job to select stuff. Like They used to send it out to a separate person who would just do the selections around stuff like hair. Well, I can see why this is a challenge, especially with a trackpad. And then can I select inverse? I sure hope so. I can. So I select the background and then I can do, I'm going to feather it. <laughs> I'm going to be a little generous with the feathering here because my selection was pretty good, but not perfect. And then I will use the filter and do a Gaussian blur. Oh, oh, and there's no preview, so I'm gonna do like eight and just go for it. Good enough mission accomplished, I think. I'm still, so, I'm still impressed with this, actually. It is not bad, right? For 35 years ago, we're doing most of the same stuff, but the new version of Photoshop has like layers, <laughs> which yeah, I can't believe this helpful. did not have layers. You can only undo one step. I just noticed that. I tried to go back and redo the blur, and I could only go back one step. Yeah, so you used to have so to like save a it. whole bunch of steps. Otherwise, you have to revert back to the original photo. There's uh, no AI. 
in yours. There's no automatic selections in yours. All you had is that magic wand tool, which actually was was not bad. It wasn't bad. Overall, Photoshop has come a long, long way. I can't believe most of the icons are the same. They haven't changed the icons in 35 years. Yeah, that was helpful for me. I can't believe how capable it is. This must have been shocking when it was new. Mm -hmm. Do you remember? Because I was just... I could, couldn't even put on my own sweater when this came out. <laughs> but yeah, I'm really shocked by how good it is even in the first version. So, congratulations, I guess. <laughs>